Figure 1 shows part of the graph of y equals f of x for x belonging to R. The graph consists of two line segments that meet at the point R, 4, minus 3, as shown in Figure 1. Sketch on a separate diagrams, sketch on separate diagrams, the graphs of y equals 2 lots of f of x plus 4 and y equals f of minus x modulus. And each diagram show the coordinates of the point corresponding to R. So I've got the information here. Here's a, a fresh diagram. Then I've cut and pasted the original diagram and I'm going to modify it to draw these. The first one is part A then. I'm going to overwrite in green so it's clearly discernible um, for the first one what the new graph is. So this will be y equals 2 f of x plus 4. I know it's going to be a shift and I know it's going to scale up by a factor of 2. I just want to remind myself which way it shifts then for this diagram first of all. So let's shift the curve over then I'll worry about stretching it by a factor of 2 after that. So if I put in naught here I'll get f of 4 and f of 4 is minus 3. So the input at naught produces the input, the output that you get at R. So this point, it's as though this point moves over, isn't it? So that would be the new value of R. Naught minus 3 is the point on, that point on the curve moves over to here. So then it just basically uh, mimics the previous curve, like so, this straight line, so it's parallel, and it's going to be parallel. But that's the first part of the problem. But the trouble is, what's going to happen here then? Now we're scaling it by a factor of 2, so it's as though we elongate the curve uh, on the y direction by a factor of 2, isn't it? Every value is doubled. So now instead of being at this value here, it will be down here, won't it? And this value will still be 2 lots of naught is still naught. So these are key points. And it will just go up like that more steeply, won't it? Because every point is twice the original value. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna get I'm gonna draw it in first and then get rid of the other curve that I used to form the sketch. So it goes through the zero, and it goes down to here and again it goes through zero here and it goes down to here. I've used uh, dashed lines because it's easy to use a digital pen with these so instead of R being there then I can get rid of this R at 0 minus 3 with difficulty but I'll try and get rid of most of it. Um, these lines can go as well and also um, the flatter line here can go can't it. So I've tried my best to get rid of everything there. I can get rid of the yellow now. This point was at 0 minus 6, wasn't it? Let's just get rid of that and that. Oops, I'm not going to get rid of the axes, am I? Let's just get rid of that point there. So let's fill in the gaps. This came down like so. This came down like so. This was at 0 minus 6. And this is where the R point has moved then. All these can be got, got rid of now. They were used for the purposes of drawing this new sketch in. Okay, so there's our new curve then, isn't it? And there's our R value. Good, so that's the new curve then. There, and this is, we can indicate it here. So, uh, that's that one. Now we move on to the next one, the, the modulus of f of minus x. So let's try that one then. I'll do this one in blue. Uh, this is part B then, and this is the modulus of x minus x modulus. So here, here's f of x. So what we're going to do with the minus x is, if you put 4 in, you see this point here, uh, if I put when x is minus 4, so I'll mark that off here. If I put that in there, I get 4 and I get output minus 3. So it's as though the R uh, is moved over, reflected through the y-axis, isn't it? So the point at 4 comes to be the point at minus 4. So in actual fact, it's a reflection. So all these, this line is reflected. So it'll just go up here is the reflection, isn't it? When you reflect it through the y-axis, like so. And this line will be reflected like so, won't it? 
the as it meets the y-axis, it's going to go through that point because there's a reflection just goes because it's on the y-axis. It's the same point. So there's our reflection then of this curve through the y-axis, and we can see that that is the case. But now we've got the modulus. So what we need to do here, instead of it being here, moved over to here minus four minus three, the reflect the modulus will now take it up. So I'm going to extend my axis here. Sorry about that. I'm not going to draw a straight line, unfortunately. Um, and I'm going to now do the modulus part now. So that would basically, all these positive values remain the same. But this triangle would just be inverted, won't it? So let's put that in. So this R point moves up to here. And the R new R value now will be reflected at minus 4. And the height is now 3 instead of being minus 3. And it's going to come down to the point here and go down there because we've got the modulus so they're all positive so we flip the negatives to positives so that looks like the curve then in this case now we've indicated the value r so we can get rid of the other uh, curve that we used to draw the sketch with and there's the solution